How did this happen, this drone addiction of yours, Harold? Well, my wife bought me a little tiny drone that you control from your phone. Uh, I was foolish enough to let my son fly it, and he flew it off. It went up like a, a balloon and never came down again, so it flew out of range. It's in the atmosphere somewhere? Somewhere, about three, four drones later. Wait a minute, you um, have three or four drones? Is this an expensive habit? It, very. Yeah? It can be, yeah. So that, that's kind of frustrating. They just came out with a new collapsible one you can stick in your pocket. It does the same exact thing as my big drone, so. Are you self-taught or do you go to classes for this? Uh, I'm self-taught. Yeah. What are the rules? You can't like go near a highly populated area and just start going crazy with it. Well, you'll find that there's no fly zones. Like for oh. example, I tried to fly it over the, the stadium and it won't let you. Your drone just won't take off. Really? Or if it's already in the air, it's like there's a force field and it'll just stop. Shut up. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm sure there's one around Dove Valley too. Uh, I'm sure there is because you could just... Belichick. The, I'm watching one uh, high school game one night at Cherry Creek and Pablo yeah, Romero was broadcasting that. the game and here comes this drone. The drone was hovering over the field. Oh, that's a new one Listen. for me. And it's the first ever drone delay in the history of broadcast television. <laughs> was that you? It was not me. We use drones to, to film practice. I coach at Regis, mm -hmm. and that's what we use to film our, it's incredible application to it. So, Cause you get the best angles possible. You can put it wherever you want. All right, so I'm, I'm watching YouTube, and in addition to all of your drone stuff on YouTube, there's a video of a then 48 year old Harold Hasselbeck bench pressing 225 48 times. That, yeah. That's gotta be fake, right? Oh, it's not Come fake. On. Come on, man. You're Give me some credit. Ripping 48 times? Yeah. Are you crazy? I train kids in the offseason, so the kids kind of put that challenge forth to me, and uh, every year I've kept up is another rep for every year of life. Ask me again at 60, though. <laughs> I doubt I'll be doing 60 reps. Oh, what are you, Tom Brady? Are you on that Tom Brady stuff where you get better with age? Don't compare me to him, man. <laughs> all people. <laughs>just so you know, and I, I'm sure you've thought about this, that picture for the Cleveland Indians, did you see he sliced up his pinky messing with his drone? Have you ever had any in issues? Injuries? Yeah. No, nothing major. All right, well, can we put one up in the air? We'll do the yeah. interview while you're flying. This man did 48 reps of 225. He's now 49. We want to be there when you do 49 reps. All right. That puts a little pressure on me though. What if I don't do it? Uh, no, let's make a deal. If you can't do 49 at 49, you got to put the drones away for five months. <laughs> no uh, deal. Never, never going to happen. <laughs> How many years with the Broncos, Harold? Uh, seven. Seven years with the mm -hmm. Broncos. Two-time Super Bowl champion. God, that was the olden days. Harold used to play with no helmet. We didn't even talk in olden days. Yes, Come that on was even, now. That was pre-leather helmet. Not going to lie, it gets a little uncomfortable when you come this close. All right, so here's the deal. I got to get over to the Broncos complex okay. for interviews. Yep. How far in my car can you follow me before it gets uh, crazy? I can follow you probably about a mile or so. All right, well, let's test it. Let's All see right. if you can keep pace with me. My car's over here. Let's see if you can do it.